Uh, but really quickly, I want to say something to people that are watching. So, okay, put this in perspective. Just think about this for a second. Nine months ago, less than a year ago, I was on my chair in my house on my computer watching this guy when he had barely any subscribers and he was talking about stuff that was motivating me, right? At this time, I had nothing at all. I was going to college to do something I did not want to do. And I know this seems like I'm every other guy on the internet. No, nine months ago, I was literally watching him and I thought I was useless to the world. And it's crazy what can happen in nine months. Like I'm a living example. I'm, I'm proof of what can happen in nine months. And in nine months, it could be even faster. It could be three months. It could be six months. You know, honestly, I think I procrastinate. I think I'm lazy a lot, <laughs> but I'm living proof. I'm speaking to you guys that you feel like you don't know what you're doing with your life or you, you don't like the, the path that you're headed on. Go out there and do something different. Like seriously, do something different. And I know that this is going to help people because you helped me. And I know that me and you together will help somebody. It has to, bro. It has to help one person it. at least. <laughs> What's up, you guys? It's Graham here. So I'm here with a special guest, Sebastian, 19-year-old college dropout who is now making $60,000 a month online. That's crazy. So introduce yourself. Okay, so yeah, I basically came across Graham's channel when I saw one of his videos. And it was like the video where he said he makes like five or $4,000 every single month no matter what happens. He could be sleeping, he could be awake, he could be at a party, he could be hungover. It does not matter. He would make like, it was like $8 an hour Yeah, or I remember that video, I, I had to take it down. I mentioned some stuff that I could be doing <laughs> and still making money at the same time. Yeah, so that after that video, I was like, you know what? That's what I want in life. Like to be able to make money while doing absolutely anything, like on the beach, it doesn't matter. Whatever you're doing, making money, that's the idea that kind of changed my entire life, which is the reason I... You know, Graham, I honestly believe Graham is the reason I'm here, you know, today where I am, but, <laughs> but yeah, subscribe. <laughs> that's the whole like reason it's because that idea, you know, I never understood passive income until I watched that video and then I finally understood it and I was like, I'm going to make money while doing nothing. So, you know, obviously I went online and I started looking up how to make money online. You know, obviously everybody thinks it's a scam at first, but once you start getting into it, you watch more YouTube videos, you start spending some, you know, some money on it. And then money starts coming in and you're like, wow, this is actually a thing. And, you know, you obviously learn more and then you start to scale things up. But it's definitely crazy. It's it's a trip. Um, I don't know what else to say. <laughs> That's one of the things I think, too, with passive income. The hardest part about making passive income is really just the first, like, few dollars. Once you can do that, you realize that you can do it and then you can recreate that and just duplicate the same thing over and over and over again because you realize what works. Yeah, it's definitely like a system. I feel like if you have a system for anything and honestly, like generally in life, if you have a system of doing things in life, then you'll always come out successful if your system works. So honestly, I didn't care about how much money I spent. I was like, I will figure out how to do it. I will become profitable. And then, you know, once I finally figured out how to become profitable, you could just completely replicate that and do it over and over and over again on a greater scale. So of the 60,000 you're making right now, what is sort of like the breakdown of where that's coming from? Okay, so obviously there's, there's a lot of sources of income. Um, it started off with just Shopify. So that's what I was focusing on, uh, focusing on 100%. And then Shopify is a lot like you, it's a skill. Like once you have it down, you have it down and you could just duplicate it and then put it on autopilot. So once I started doing that, like I built a couple of stores, I have some of my friends working on them and I don't really have to pay any attention. I just kind of do some marketing and I push those aside. And that's once I figured out Shopify, I started posting on YouTube. So obviously in the beginning, YouTube wasn't like anything. It wasn't any sort of like income source at all. Yeah. But now YouTube is actually becoming an income source. Like the ad revenue is actually becoming an income source. So I consider that another one. So ad revenue. And then I also do some mentorship. So I also mm -hmm. help people out and I do like consulting calls and I like go those over people's. Yeah. These are fun. I like that. <laughs> so I go over people's websites and I just kind of do mentorships with people like that. So I, that's another source. And then I also sell digital products mm -hmm. with like Fiverr, with Gumroad. So that's another source right there. And then I have my course, which my course is getting pretty big. So I'm taking it more seriously. Um, I didn't ever imagine, you know, this many people signing up for it, but it is getting pretty big. So I'm taking that seriously. And then that's one more source right there. And I'm also building a software right now. So that's going to just, insane. that's going to put it, that's going to top everything probably. And that's insane. Yeah. Push me to six figures a month, I hope. That's incredible. So hopefully by before next year, that's, well, not hopefully, I will be for sure, but. Get it, man. <laughs> that's epic. That's where I'm going right now. That's my path. So how is it not going to college though? Because that was something for me, like I never went to college. I never personally saw the point of college and I'm, I'm really glad I didn't go. 
Um, but how was that for you? I think with your your family wanted you to go to college. Right? So yeah, my so I have older siblings. One of my siblings went to college, and she's having a you know she's a great life. She's successful with her husband. My two brothers didn't go to college, and unfortunately, they aren't really as successful, and they you know they still live at home. Uh, you know they're they're doing their own things now, but. My mom had it ingrained in her brain that college was the only way to just have a good life. Like you have to go to college, otherwise that's it. You're not gonna ever get a house, you're not gonna ever like have a car, it's just college, that's it. You have to get a job. And so when I told her, I said, I don't wanna go to college. I said, I wanna try real estate for one year. She did not like agree with it whatsoever. She actually like freaked out and she got upset at me. She's like, no, like you see your brothers, like you have to go to college. And I was like, mom, listen, because at the time, okay, so I was a nerd. So I had an entire like notebook where I was writing out appreciation and everything. If I had $10,000, yeah, had the same thing. if I had $10,000, I was like, this is what I could turn it into by five years, according to everything, vacancies, whatever, it doesn't matter. Like I had an entire page and I showed my mom, I was like, look, mom, look, it's possible. In five years, I can have $500,000 and a property. And so, you know, obviously she didn't really understand it because she's foreign, but um, I told her and she didn't believe me. And then, you know, she still doesn't. She still thinks I don't like <laughs> have a real job, but what can you do, man? Well, not really, yeah. <laughs> well no, my, my parents were the same way. They freaked out when I decided, like, I, well, first of all, I didn't get into college. My plan was to actually go to college, but my grades were so bad that just no college even wanted me. Like, I could, I could do, like, a community college, but, you know, I, I had really no other choice yeah. but to, like, do well in real estate. But they did the same thing. They freaked out. They're like, my son is going to be a bum. He's not going to get a job. He's going to be working at McDonald's. And that's going to be that. Yeah. So you don't need college at all. Like as long as you could find something that you can do on your own, you, honestly, like you don't need college unless it's a means to an end for something. Yeah. No, I, I don't think that like if you're not going to go to college, it's not like real estate's the only thing that you can do or Shopify or Amazon FBA. I think that if you become good at anything, if you are, if you have a skill in anything and it's teachable and it's useful and people want to know about your skill. If you become the best at whatever you do, then you can always make money that way. So it doesn't always have to be real estate. It doesn't have to be Shopify or you know whatever drop shipping. It doesn't matter. If you just become really, really good at something, you will always be able to charge for it. So I don't know, guys. But where you're at right now, I mean, you're doing like six sixty thousand dollars a month. Yeah, <laughs> that's that's nuts. <laughs> um, that's more in a month than most people make in a year and i'm talking about like seasoned career professionals yeah and you do that in a month sitting on a beach yeah i don't do much <laughs> um it's definitely it, it definitely like puts you in, in perspective it definitely humbles you a lot uh when you when you i don't know i don't want to sound like a, like an arrogant person because i'm really not i promise guys but it's it changes your perspective on everything on absolutely everything in life um and honestly i think it's for the for the better but I don't know. Now, let's talk about something deeper. Does it ever numb you to the fact that like $60,000 is a lot of money? I, if you ever asked me at like 18 years old, $60,000, to me, that would seem like a ton of money. Do you ever feel like because you're making that, you're getting numb to making $60,000 a month and now that becomes just like normal or maybe it doesn't seem as crazy? It definitely it definitely sets the bar. So obviously, it's it's not like I went from zero to sixty thousand. Like I've obviously had my months where you know it just started going higher and higher. Sixty thousand is definitely like the biggest month I've had so far. But uh, I wouldn't say numb, but I, I would say like it sets the bar. So next month, if I were to make forty thousand, I would be upset. But you know, take a step back. Forty thousand dollars in a month is still outrageous money. You know, for not having a job and being you know nineteen years old with no education, that's still a lot of money. But still, it does set the bar, and I don't know, it kind of does change your, your perspective on money a lot. So It does. And it's also, once you see it, like once you see the light, you can't unsee it. Like once you start making passive income, it's one of those things that you can't go and not make passive income. Yeah, anymore. that's true. Because I, it's one of these things, it's like, why would you go and like spend time at, let's say, a job or anything where you get paid by the hour when you can leverage your time and make money without having to actively be involved in it. Um, same thing with even for me working as a real estate agent, even though it's something I have to physically be there for, you get paid based off your results and not so much the time you spend. Like I've done deals where like literally six figure commissions where I've probably spent maybe a week or two on the, like total on the deal. Um, and other times like you spend like days or maybe sometimes months on a deal to earn not, you know, nothing. So it really just depends on like how much work you put in is really mm -hmm. what you get out of it. I, I completely agree with that, man. The way I see passive income now is like, I don't know if people have heard the saying or not, but like Pitbull got his first taste of blood. 
Like, have you ever heard like a, a pit bull will take a bite and yes. he gets blood? Yeah. And yeah he's yeah. like, after that, he's like, mine. Maybe it's, maybe it's more like a shark. May, maybe, well, maybe. maybe I, that's that's what I heard. Yeah. I don't know where I live, man, under a rock. But that's what I always heard. Pit bull like gets his first taste of blood, and then after that, he's like, mine. Like, I want more. You know, you want double that. You want more. So that's kind of what passive income is like. Like, it's honestly the it's great, man. It's like the greatest thing in the world. Yeah. So once you once you do get it, you know, you just won't settle without it. You always want to have it. So here's a big one, and it. What sets you apart from all the other people watching that you were able to do this? I'm sure a lot of other people are watching and want to do the same thing. They want to make $60,000 a month too. Yeah. What's setting them apart from you and what are you doing differently? Definitely the biggest thing is is taking action. Um, I No matter what, obviously I wouldn't be where I am today without taking action. But like I, the way I kind of describe it is like flipping on a switch. It's so simple, but it makes the biggest difference because... Yes, it is important to go out there and get all the knowledge you possibly can. Just learn everything you can about a business before getting into it. But some people will just never go from that. They'll just always stay in that phase where they're like, I'm still learning, I'm still learning, I'm still learning. At some point, you have to take action. And that is what I think is getting out of your comfort zone, which is what most entre successful entrepreneurs have to deal with. But that's what they all that's what they all well, preach, It's called right? what? Analysis paralysis is what they call it. I think it's <laughs> is like the term. The medical term for that is analysis paralysis. But... Yeah, oh, sorry, but I was going to say, like, you have to be uncomfortable with, like, or, I mean, be comfortable with being uncomfortable. You have to get out of your comfort zone and do something that you don't want to do. And most people don't want to spend money. In my case, for, you know, for what I do, most people don't want to spend money if they're not making money, which is 100% understandable. But like I said, it's all about taking action. Like, you have to go out there. You have to be better. You have to spend money. You have to do things that you wouldn't normally do or do things that make you uneasy because that's all taking action is. Like you can't just sit on the sidelines forever. I agree. So when it comes to learning about this, where did you learn and how did you come about doing all of like you I take it you just didn't figure it out on your own. Where did you start? With okay, so with Shopify? With or Shopify. Like, okay, so like I said, I came across your channel. I got interested in like just building passive income, wealth in general, life advice. So I came across another channel and that was Thaddeus' channel and he was like you, but niche down to Shopify. Mm. He's like, this is what you do with Shopify. You were like, this is what you do with your life. And Thaddeus is like, here's how you do things with dropshipping. And I watched a lot of his videos. And honestly, he was probably the reason that I did good in Shopify so fast. But yeah, so I, I watched him. And then eventually after I made a couple sales, I put myself through courses mm -hmm. on Shopify. And those obviously helped me a lot too, because you know, you get more like one-on-one -on -one with the people and they go over a lot of information that they don't go over on their YouTube videos. But yeah, that's what really helped me. So you took a course. Yeah, I did take a course. That's crazy. Well, actually, awesome, I, right? I have like five courses now, but that's so cool, man. Yeah. So yeah, I, I took the courses, and that was, you know, obviously, you know, just it's more information, and I was already at the point where I was taking action, so I was spending money, I was advertising, and then just with all the information that the courses provided, I just went out there and did it better. Yeah. Well, one of the things that I think a lot of people bring up is how do I know which one to do and which one it's which niche to start. How do I know which idea to go forward with? Because there are a, a million great ideas out there and a million different things that you could be doing to make passive income. How do you pick one to stick with? That's a good question, man. Um, I def I wouldn't say that there's a certain way you should pick one like one way of making passive income. I know not everybody could go out and buy a property and rent it out because you know obviously that takes capital, uh, and obviously there will be people that don't have a lot of money to work with in the beginning, but. As far as choosing uh, where to make passive income, I don't think it matters. I think that you should choose one and stick to it until you get good at it. And then once you get good at it, you can move on. So with that mindset, you will always be successful. It's not like, this isn't working for me, I'm gonna go do something else. You have to persevere and you have to stick with something until you learn it. And I see a lot of people that, you know, they'll say, I'm starting Shopify, I'm starting dropshipping, I'm also, or I'm also starting FBA, and like, I'm doing social media marketing. And it's like, whoa, 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 like, Choose one, you know, get good, and then you can outsource that and move on to something else. So that can even be with real estate too, yeah. but obviously real estate's on a bigger scale. Yeah, it's very true. So when it really comes down to what really set you apart from everyone else out there is it, you just took action. I mean, yeah, I just all. flipped the switch, man. Just flipped the switch. I was like, I should probably start doing something. Like, I, I didn't care about money. I didn't care about anything. I was like, I'm going to make it work right now. So what actually then caused you to flip the switch in a way that just wasn't flipped before? Does that... Yeah, it, <laughs> it, makes, it makes sense. Okay, so this is weird. Um, I guess my mom caused me to flip the switch. Bear with me, but this is this sounds weird, but it's true. Um, so when I after I failed for about two weeks, I went up to my mom and I was like, like this isn't working. You know, she knew that I wasn't going to college, and I was just like, I was so like I was a mess, and I was like, this isn't working, and I'm upset, and like I don't know what to do. 
And she's like, before any person has ever been successful ever, they have to fail. Like everybody, you, before you're successful at something, before you're good at something, you're going to have to fail because the, you can't just get success. So I understood that and it made sense to me. And I was like, you know what? She's right. So I like completely did everything. I redid my entire store, my entire business. I went out there and I did more research and I worked a little bit harder. And actually the next day was like my biggest day. I made like 600 bucks in a day total because I, I was working a job and Shopify, but I made more from my Shopify than I did mm -hmm. from my job. And so that was like the, the switch. It flipped. I was like, that's it. Like I'm done. Like I know how to do this. I can, if I can make $600 in a day, I can do it again. And I guess it was kind of my mom. She motivated me, which is kind of a cliche story, but whatever, man. <laughs> yeah, no, it's very true for me. It was that in real estate, it was just, I was, I wanted something that would be consistent no matter it was independent of how much I worked as a real estate agent that I can make money no matter what, mm -hmm. because I knew the making money as a real estate agent, I it totally eclipse and make like 10 times more as an agent than I do in rental income. Mm -hmm. But no matter what I do, just having that backup and just having that extra money come in, it's always going to be there mm -hmm. that you're never going to have to worry about like, Oh, I lost a job or like I lost a deal or I lost a sale. It's no matter what, like here it is every single month. Here's a set amount of money. Yeah. There you go. Dude, I know, and that's it's it provides such a security and it's a really good feeling. Honestly, everybody should strive for it for passive income. It's just it's honestly it's so good. Uh, but really quickly, I want to say something to people that are watching. So, okay, put this in perspective. Just think about this for a second. Nine months ago, less than a year ago, I was on my chair in my house on my computer watching this guy when he had barely any subscribers and he was talking about stuff that was motivating me, right? At this time, I had nothing at all. I was going to college to do something I did not want to do. And I know this seems like I'm every other guy on the internet. No, nine months ago, I was literally watching him and I thought I was useless to the world. And it's crazy what can happen in nine months. Like I'm a living example. I'm, I'm proof of what can happen in nine months. And in nine months, it could be even faster. It could be three months. It could be six months. You know, honestly, I think I procrastinate. I think I'm lazy a lot, <laughs> but I'm living proof. I'm speaking to you guys that you feel like you don't know what you're doing with your life or you, you don't like the, the path that you're headed on. Go out there and do something different. Like seriously, do something different. And I know that this is going to help people because you helped me. And I know that me and you together will help somebody. It has to, bro. It has to help one person it. at least. I believe it. <laughs> and this is trippy for me too. I mean, keep in mind, nine months ago, I bar I barely had any subscribers. I mean, maybe like a thousand or two thousand, maybe back then. And this is a subscriber of nine months ago <laughs> yeah. that I had never talked to in my life before. I never this is a comment on my channel. Yeah, that's it. That turned into this today. Yeah. And over sixty thousand dollars a month now i mean that's yeah. to me that's incredible and just honestly for me to even think that that was e even like a tenth of a percent from a video i decided to make on passive income and just knowing that that even made just the slightest amount of difference is just mind-blowing to yeah. me and it's trippy to like to have you here today with this, <laughs> this story um because I think even this, because I know there are other people out there too that I get messages even on like Instagram or Snapchat, mm -hmm. like they close their first sales in real estate or they just bought their first rental property or like mm -hmm. little things like that. It's just like, it's crazy to think that you could even have that sort of, Im even just like a small amount of impact. Uh, it's just, that's too cool. Yeah, it man. It really it's, is. It's an awesome feeling. Like I feel like, I, I feel like I don't have any impact compared to you because you just give like life advice yeah. that everybody could follow. But it really is crazy what's what's possible. Like just the little things that you've done for a lot of people. I'm, you'd be surprised, man. Like you've probably yeah. changed so many people's lives. That it's it's crazy for me. To think. <laughs> and sometimes it's so easy to get like just to forget about that. That every single person, like every comment, is a real person. Yeah. Every is view hard. is is someone different with their own story and their own struggles and their own life and everything. It, so it's, it's it's so important to like to think of it just like because you forget after a little while. Yeah. And you forget just like. People are watching you around the world, and that's I, st I still don't believe it's it. It's so crazy time. to yeah. think about. Like, why would anyone watch me? That's how I, I felt. Just like a kid. Yeah, I still, I still kind of feel that way. I still feel like, I, why, do, why is anybody still watching? Yeah, that's weird, man. Um, but I, I have yeah. a question for you because yeah. I feel like you're asking a lot of questions. Go for it. Um, what is like your advice? This is so cliche. I like you hear this all the time, but like, yeah. what's your advice? To somebody that's in the position that I was in nine months ago, I was just on my computer. I was enrolled in college to be a nurse and I really didn't want to do it. Like I was in pajama pants, you know, I was like, where am I? Like, what is my, what am, what is my purpose? Like, yeah. what's your advice to somebody like that? 
I think it's so important to almost reverse engineer it. And I remember your comment. You said, this was maybe like nine to 10 months ago, you said that you wanted to hang out with your friends all day. <laughs> that was all Sebastian wanted to do is just all have day. the freedom to hang out with his friends all day. All and day. I remember my comment back to that is you don't need $60,000 a month to hang out with your friends all day. You could be unemployed on government assistance on food stamps and hang out with your friends all day. That was my advice at that point. You don't need a ton of money. And it, re it really developed from that into he really just wants something that's passive. He really wants the freedom to do what he wants. And I think the most important thing is to figure out what you really want and then reverse engineer it and find something that fits that. Like if you want to be on a boat all day, you know, just relaxing, you'll probably need something passive or something where you don't need to be in an office. Right. Maybe that could be you work on a computer, but you'd still do something from like your nine to five, but you can do it remotely. If you want the freedom to travel, maybe that includes you getting into photography or something yeah. that you can do while you travel. Mm -hmm. um, for me, it was really to do what I want when I want to do it. And I love working as a real estate agent. And that's what I do um, like six days a week because I really enjoy it mm -hmm. and do like buy rental properties and stuff like that. But that sort of it just ties into what I really like. Mm -hmm. So I think it's so important to figure out something that you really like to do that fits into your end goal. Because if like there's no point in just saying like I want to make $60,000 a month if you're yeah. miserable doing that right. and that doesn't change your life or make it better. Okay. So there's no point. So it's never so much as like a monetary goal as it is what you do with your time throughout the day. And it's got to be something you enjoy. Mm. I mean, I can tell you, you enjoy doing all of this. It's not just about like making 60000 a month. I mean, that's amazing. But at the same time, it gives you the freedom yeah. to hang out with your friends all day. <laughs> that's how I want it. And Chipotle. <laughs> and Chipotle. <laughs> no, but honestly, so I just got back from the Dominican, right? I was there for like nine days total. Um, and honestly, like I was excited when I got home. I was excited to start filming again. I was excited to start working again. Because I honestly really love what I do. And um, just the process of going, like, I know that I'm going to work harder every month and then make more money every month. So I'm more of, like, a numbers person. Like, I'm more like, no, money, money, whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But that's, I really enjoy it. You know, I'm not, it's not like I'm greedy. It's just I really enjoy it seeing, seeing, like, income get higher. So I don't know. I was really excited to work. I was really excited to come home and be like, all right, what's next? What's the big move? Like, yeah. how am I going to make this better? And I don't know. I just really, really, really enjoy it. Yeah, that was the same for me with uh, when I came to working as a real estate agent. I loved it. It was so cool to me to meet different people mm. and to try to like put a deal together and to make a sale. And when you make the sale, it's the best feeling ever to be like, <laughs> I did this. Like this is the result of like the work I put in and I made it happen. Some people hate that. Some people like hate sales. They hate real estate and that's totally fine yeah, but it's, it's something fine. as long as you enjoy it some people are going to hate shopify some people are going to hate do, online right? businesses yeah other people are going to love it right it's really just about finding out what you like the most and how you can fit that in to yeah. overall the bigger picture i think it's important that when you find something that you do want to do you i think it's very very crucial to look at somebody that is in the position that you want to be in and then duplicate okay so if for example if, if somebody sure. was like 18 years old and they wanted to be a real estate agent I would like highly recommend you just look at Graham, watch all his videos, study him and what he does, and then duplicate. He's buying rental properties, you should too. You know, he's dressing like this, maybe you should too. You know, obviously he's a successful realtor, so like just duplication. If you want to be where somebody is, then do what they do. And that's kind of what I did too. And yeah. I think that plays like such a huge role. For example, like my friends are are building softwares now and they're doing a whole bunch of crazy stuff and I was like, "Okay, I want to build softwares too now. Like it's duplication. I'm not copying you, but they are where I want to be. They're obviously a lot further ahead of, of the game than I am, but they're where I want to be. So I'm going to duplicate. I'm not going to take their ideas, but I'm just going to follow yeah. in their footsteps. And the thing that I've noticed too is that you can duplicate, but you're still going to put your own style on it. Exactly. Like let's say the information I'm teaching or that I'm giving is I, it's very similar to what other people are doing. It's just I have a, my own style on that. Mm -hmm. Even though it could be very similar information, it's both the delivery and the style that really makes the biggest difference. And that's one of the things, too, that a lot of people just – they're too afraid of too much competition. Like I don't want to start a YouTube channel because there are all these other channels that have the same information. I don't want to talk about being a real estate agent because there are all these other channels that have the same information. What really sets you apart is your personality and your own delivery of everything. And some people will relate to it and other people won't, but yours is going to be different than everybody else. Yeah. Honestly, competition is good, man. I like competition. Because, like, I'm, I'm a competitive person. Yeah. So when I see competition, it's like, 
all right, good. Now I'm going to win. Like, yeah. My whole theory is that I don't think there is any competition. And the reason why I think that is because I personally believe there's enough to go around for everybody. Mm-hmm. And I believe everyone is going to have their own spin on something that's going to set them apart and that's unique to them. Okay. Some people will go for it. Some people will not. There are some better deliveries and some better methods overall than others. But I believe overall you're going to put your own personality on it. And yeah. people are going to go for that personality because they like it and they relate to it versus somebody else. You can't win them all is, is my thing. That's true. And there's no way you can make 100% of people happy 100% of the time. There's no way you can physically take on all the clients in the world, but you want to make sure you're working with the people that like you and will resonate with you and get along with you and want to work with you. Yeah. So that's my take on competition. Competition is good for me. Well, just in the business that I'm in. Yeah. You know, competition is good, but... That's a whole nother topic. Because you dominate. Because <laughs> I win. <laughs> as long as I win, that's when competition Guys, is great. That's when it's healthy. The key to success is to win. It's to be successful. <laughs> the key to $60,000 a month, I'll tell you right now, the real secret that, that you're hiding is you better make $60,000. If you don't do that, you're going to fail. That's the secret. Expose. Sorry, I had to expose you like Dude, that. Dude, no. <laughs> expose my dislikes. <laughs> So is there anything else you want to add for anybody else watching who's curious about the 60000 a month, what they can do? Anything else you want to add before we wrap up? Um, not really. Just just don't give up. If you want something, go get it. That's it's, it's simple. Don't overthink it. Don't overdo it. If you want something, go get it. And then you're forgetting one other th- <laughs> And then you're forgetting one other thing, and that is... Flip the switch. Take action. It was subscribe. Oh, subscribe. <laughs> well, yeah, of course. That's a given. There you go. Know. <laughs> guys, subscribe right now. Make sure to subscribe. <laughs> As always, you guys, thank you so much for watching. And Sebastian, thank you so much for of coming course, out man. here. Thank and you for just, bringing like, me. For doing this. I think this is super helpful. And again, I think it's trippy. A subscriber here yeah. from like nine, ten months ago is here with a success story. I mean, that makes me so happy to that's see awesome, this. Man. Yeah. Thank you again for doing this. If you've watched this all the way through and you haven't subscribed already... Make sure to smash that subscribe button and also feel free to go in the description. I'm going to link Sebastian's information there. You can check out his channel and what he's doing as well. Also, feel free to add me on Snapchat and Instagram. I post it pretty much daily, so if you want to be a part of it there, feel free to add me there. I, th- I think that's pretty much it. Is there anything you I want think, to say? No, I think that's enough plugs. We plugged everything. We got it all the way. I can keep going on the plugs. Okay. You know add, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's make sure going. you like and dislike my videos, but only like Graham's videos. Why would they dislike? I don't know. It's just we're plugging. <laughs> oh yeah, make sure you're clicking all the buttons. Okay. Just click so make sure you click the li- make sure you click the dislike button first, then the like button. Okay. Click subscribe, but if you're already subscribed, don't click subscribe. <laughs> Comment down below, let me know your thoughts on this video. Then click the share button. You're gonna share this on Facebook, on Instagram, <laughs> Twitter, on Twitter. Yep. all of your coworkers, <laughs> friends, family. Just click the, everything. The dog wants to probably <laughs> listen dog. to this too. And then I also have a Facebook group for anyone who's interested in real estate. If you're a real estate agent, a wholesaler, just want to meet like-minded people in real estate, the link is in the description on that. And then also, we're going to keep going on this. If you're interested in becoming a real estate agent, I have a step-by-step course of exactly how I grew my business from zero to over $120 million in just the last nine years. Yeah. That's a lot of money. 120 mil. Get so, it. If you're interested in that, it's literally a step-by-step tutorial how I built my entire business and everything I've learned along the way is in the description if you guys are interested in that. What else can we plug? I don't know, man. I think that's all the plugs. I feel like I should have like a, you know, donate Bitcoin or something like that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> my wallet address yeah, is, yeah. is on my, my channel wallet. art. Yeah, I can put my PayPal in the description if you guys want to send some send, send some money. Oh, oh my god. That's it. I think that's all I can do. Thank you again for watching you guys and until next time.